Hello and welcome back to the channel and this episode is number two, chapter two of episode one. So previously we just defeated Catwoman but she escaped but now we're in sort of some sort of party or something. I think this is after we've just faced Catwoman because he was doing this with his face and he, I think he's got scratches but let's just see. Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. And even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. Man, I might put subtitles on, actually. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late as always. Hello. Say hi, Bruce. Oh, <laughs> enjoy my wine. It's expensive. Welcome to Wayne Manor. Welcome to Welcome. Wayne Manor, everyone. Welcome. My apologies for the late arrival. Oh, not to worry, Mr. Wayne. We've all made ourselves very comfortable. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. <laughs> Together, we will change Gotham. This is a kind of deal. I need a drink, really. Oh, well. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billion. <laughs> Where were you? Um, the sooner we make nice with the donors, I see something the sooner important. everyone I need to... will leave you alone. Relax, it was important. Not more than this. I know you despise these things, and truth be told, I do too. What, a chance to show off your teeth and talk about yourself to a room full of money? Say it ain't so. It's called playing the game, Bruce. And tonight, if you hadn't noticed, I'm playing for City Hall. No one came here tonight to see me. Now we all know I see the Bruce Harvey Wayne, Dent. Am I right? We know what he changes well, into. Him just fine from here. Now, if you're it not a Batman fan, he's not Harvey Cheeseface. It's only a little FaceTime with so, potential donors. Your do face I go really with a mouth weird? Saying, do I like Harvey Dent. not support him? With the grease, they're the wheels. But, they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. I just don't like being someone I'm not. What, what are you talking about? You are Gotham's golden sun. Let them bask in your Shut radiant up. glow. Ew, this will help ew. you too. <laughs> Once I've the city around glow. this mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. I'm going to go really uh, shady and say the new face about, of Gotham because uh, if you know Harvey Two Face, he's got two face faces. For <laughs> That's hmm? funny. For you, it's not half bad. I'm going to use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city no, free from Because I know what he's going to be like in the, the future. And That's I just what I don't want to. Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make Do I make him trust me well, or do I make him like hate hmm? me? Come uh, on. I'll see how he goes. There might be an option. Do you kill him? No, no. But, like, like, oh, who's arrived? Hans? Mr. Wayne, I'd like oh, to introduce you to Bob and Regina Sellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. I've always loved Regina that name. Here is the Regina, of Regina Falange. Voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Shady Wayne. Shady much. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. You believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. Yeah. Well, thank you. But I feel like when he turns Harvey Dent, difference. they'll be like, That's well, you trusted it. You know what I mean? So, no. Not just me, not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. I think I made the right Right, choice. right. Of course. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, <laughs> it's true. 
The Waynes and Zellerbox are reminders of the golden age. Zellerbox. <laughs> this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape bat freak dealing out just in my justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding golden age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me oh, for I love being Regina. Blunt, Regina Zellerbach. can't save this city. And it's so, a dangerous mentality so to think so. Oh. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. I'd say it all depends on the man. Sometimes you need a person who will go off script. Such as dressing up in a bat costume? And taking out the criminals who ruin our city. Though the cape may be a bit much. <laughs> now don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. With Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help oh. Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway. It Regina! Shush! Really I've just forgotten yeah, about it! Tragedy well, like that ugh. at such a young age must have been crippling. If only that. Uh, Rub it in, thanks. The right it was a long time ago. Maybe. Uh, well, I don't I like to think it. about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, thank you. Why I wish you do my that? parents could be here speaking with you too. And thank you. You just wouldn't Bruce, mention it. Oh my in God. Of this city's future. <laughs> you have our support, Mr. Dent. Go get him. We're on our Go way. Go get him. I'm not saying I doubted you, but that was that Alfred listening in or not? It no, was it was a night of ringing endorsements. Oh. Well, hello. Well, I like this music. The Harvey Dent. Ah, Fiesta! I'm eager to know you. Vicky Wait. Vale. Is that? Not interested. Oh, no. And reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he um, certainly doesn't have any time either. She can stay. She's not, she's not doing no, any it's trouble. All right. We can stay. Thanks. Bruce? This she is can stay. It's fine. Event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now. It's so formal. Call me Bruce. Well... <laughs> Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Just what between us, one? politics bore the hell out of me. Too many words, not enough action. I didn't yeah. think you were the type to get his hands dirty. Oh, you'd be surprised. Mr. Wayne, you've... You've got something on your collar. What? Um, is that blood? Oh. Yeah. Put myself shaving it's just like... So. Uh, actually, it's, lipstick. it's, uh, it's lipstick. Well, no wonder you were late. <laughs> oh my me, god! <laughs> Another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Okay. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything oh, except being yeah. a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham. For all of us. But at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. Jesus, Harvey, inviting a known criminal to your fundraiser doesn't exactly look good for your squeaky clean image. Let me worry about that. A word of warning, Bruce? Who? I felt like I didn't set this up at all. Like, Very people nice. are just turning up in my house. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Though the decor offends my eyes. You can't afford it. Man, I never sell all flash, no class. 
My family built this house. It's not for sale. Everything's for sale, Mr. Wayne. And everyone. Just need to find the right currency. Oh. Carmine Falco. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. You're a respectable I'll man. Throw, what's it? No, I'm not. No, they're not unless. No, I'm not shaking his hand. No way. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlour. Follow me, if you will. As you should know, Mr. Falcone, my analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. At hey, what's private audience? Oh, come on, guys. Bruce? You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. We talk alone. Just you and me. Sorry, Harvey. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get a drink or something. Yeah, I don't want him getting involved or getting Christ. any information. You know, I feel like he could turn on me yeah, any time. Yeah, well, that's just like so. Harvey. Wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. I understand more than you know. Good. You look smart. You dress smart. Glad it adds up to something real. I ain't here to chinwag about politics. I'm scared he's gonna pull out a gun and shoot me. <laughs> I got oh. enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. I can do it himself. Or I can pull it out from under him. Whatever happened to being a gracious host? Okay, imagine. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, really clubs, the docks, unions, really politicians. <laughs> oh well. Screw it. I make them all move. And I want to keep everything moving in Harvey. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Oh, I'm everyone's friend. Which means you're really no one's. Pick a lane before you have a head-on collision. Is that a threat? You listen to me, oh, kid. Oh, God, yeah, it is. I know, somewhere inside that tuxedo, you understand the situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. I think I'll have someone see you out. Okay. Get out of my house! So that's how it's gonna be. People don't say no to me. I just did. Not for long. Another threat. Master Bruce, your guests are It's leaving. like Twitter. I recommend Threaten me. Oh, oh God. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh well, yeah, Twitter's oh, crazy no nowadays. I mean, you could get threats to just saying hi. The owner's a prick. Yeah, yeah. Bye bye, Mr. Falcone. Bye. Another threat. I think that's about three or four now. Oh, was that just the prologue? Oh, sneaky. Yeah, wow, like I think I made some really important decisions just then. Yeah. <sighs> Ooh, I feel like I'm going to the back cave. 
It's me. so serious. <laughs> it's me! <laughs> and then all the lights that when you just love that, you just went in your house. It's me. And everything turns on TV, everything, the cooker, turns on your food, turns on your food, cooks your food, everything. You know, episode one. You know, just if you forget, episode one. <laughs> in, big, in big letters. Realm of Shadows. Oh, and there's that, that tech colour going on. All the yellow. A string of home invasions rippled through the city's already crime-infested East End. Apparently, the bandits are using stolen GCPD battery plants to force their way in. With breaking in <gasps> oh my god, that was the tickets! For when... When my parents died, that was they were the tickets. So oh, why would you keep them? The notorious Batman was on the scene, but failed to secure the stolen items. Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. Ooh. Well, I did say that we were going to do it in chapters and everything, but I think I'm just going to do it in episode, like, like parts. So, yeah. Right, here we go. Oh, Codex, what's that? Oh, it's everyone. So, Martha and Thomas, wait. I'm not going to read it, but if you want to read it, just pause right now and then just read it. Alfred Pennyworth, Harvey Dent, Hamilton, Hamilton Hill, Cat Burglar, Catwoman, James Gordon, Vicky Vale, Kamal Falcone, Gotham City, Arkham Asylum, oh that's going to be interesting in the future. Wayne Enterprises. Is that all we got so far? Okay. We got food feed. Facebook? Oh, it's like newspaper and stuff. Random stabbings are the latest headache for the riders of Gotham's overcrowded sky rail cars to contend with. Oh, movie tickets. Oh, guessing. Oh, the cow. Now, oh, I only found out like, voice I only found like a year ago that the cow was actually something. I thought they were just like, I thought you, I thought they were saying scowl, like, well, it's apparently it's a cow. I'm such a fan. But yeah, I didn't know what it was. <laughs> absorb most of the damage from that gunshot. I've got to protect my back. Even from the police. See, it's good field testing. I mean, I got shot there. I'll just protect myself this time. Data port. Oh, oh, gadgets table. Yes. Spare grapple gun. Spare grapple. Can't believe I let her take that. Oh, she took the other one. Oh. Oh, the test run at the oh, oh, I was right then. Oh, okay. What's this? Deliver a jolt or knock out electricity in the area. I don't suppose that cat woman would have preferred the latter. <laughs> I should see if I can refine the edge. Could be sharper. Nearly fell off a building for this? Oh, that's the data for him. Right, well, I know I said I was going to do it in chapters, but this has gone on for 20 minutes now. So I will do it in like little episodes now. It makes more sense. And I don't want to like overthrow, like overflow you with like a 40 minute video. It, you know, it's crazy. But I will see you guys in the next video and see what's on that data port. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.